found this scrapbook in a store called the Flying Tiger Copenhagen. Uh, it's a scrapbook um, with nice sides on and there's a few of them and it's not that thick so if you put things in there like pictures and stuff like that it's uh, fine because there's still a lot of room for it. So I wanted to do something special with the front and the back um, and I thought why not using my 3D printer. So I printed these two pages on uh, the back page. It says the end and it's of course on the back side so I can still draw and on write without uh, these indents because that's small indents right here. So that's the back side of my book and this is going to be my front and I have this little picture frame that I also uh, printed that fits right in there. Uh, so this is my uh, front. I actually did uh, take the back cover off because uh, when I turn it around and I'm just gonna turn it around like that uh, then I have the opening uh, for the pages and the sides here so I can just carefully pull off front and back of this book very easy and I'm not pulling these uh, metal wires here out of shape I'm just pulling them enough uh, apart so that I can take out the front and the back and now I can go in and put in the front and the back just by placing them and carefully putting them back in there and making sure that when I turn it around to the front that it is going to turn the right way and then one after another I'm just going to carefully put these back in there we go so I can turn this around and that will fit perfect on that side and then this one is going to sit like that so I am going to place that also like that so I have the back side and the front side back on and as this is plastic it is very durable so that's really good then I have this picture that my daughter made of me and I'm going to put that into the frame here so I'm going to make sure that it has the right size for that. Then I have a piece of packing plastic from some kind of toy and I'm just going to cut that out so it fits my little picture here. Then I have some doubled uh, sided tape here and I'm gonna put that on the back side of my picture and I'm going to peel off this protection on the other side. There we go. And then I'm just putting this into the frame part here. So it's nice and good uh, glued down. Then I can place the plastic piece and I'm going to glue down the frame so I have my grey Warhammer paint and first of all I'm going to move the frame but I have the plastic piece in here to, uh, uh, to watch out for the picture. So I'm using grey and I'm just uh, dry brushing it on.
So I painted the details silver on the things on the door, only black here and there, the little mouse in the door, and uh, I did use a glaze all over the front here. Now I'm going to uh, glue this in. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm using T8000 and I'm just going to Drop a tiny bit here on the frame, just so I have a little to keep it in there. And I'm going to place it. The resin has now dried, so it's all nice and neat. Uh, and then I have these small flowers that I made once. Uh, I have a link for that in the info box below, or you can find it right here, uh, how I made these. And I'm going to uh, bend a few of them and put them in there so they sit like I uh, want them to. I want this a tiny bit shorter. So here we are with my done uh, prompt journal and um, I really like the result of this. I'm going to leave uh, the uh, link for the print file in the info box below so you can find it and print it yourself if you want to. So that's all there is to this. I'm very happy how this book turned out uh, and I'm going to put some prompts in here really soon so that I can get started and um, you will follow me here and there with a few of the prompts that I'm going to make, I hope. So anyway, that's my idea of a prompts journal. So uh, thank you for watching and happy crafting.